This is the study of geography and these are the branches of geography. Physical geography, human geography and practical geography. These are among the few topics that we look at when we study geography. We look at industrialization, we look at forestry, we look at tea plantations, maize plantations, brick making industry, among many many others. Welcome to Geography Form 1 Lesson 6. Hello, I am Sarah and welcome to our lesson today. We are going to look into the rotation of the earth. The earth, as we said, is a heavenly body. It's a, a, a body that is found in space. And it is hanging. You know, it is not being held by anything physical that we are able to see uh, that is holding it. And so it is moving. And one of the types of movement is, one of the movements is the rotation of the earth. And the other type of movement is the revolution of the earth. Today we are going to look into the rotation of the earth. And so we start by defining the term rotation of the earth. Rotation means spinning of a planet on its own axis without forward movement. The earth spins on its own axis. It moves on its own axis once in 24 hours. That is once in a day. It, uh, it moves in a west to east direction once in 24 hours. The Earth uh, makes a complete rotation once in 24 hours. The Earth is moving on its own axis. And an axis, we have said, is a post, an imaginary post that is running from the North Pole, running through the center of the Earth to the South Pole. This pole is uh, imaginary as I've said because we cannot imagine how a body that is suspended in the air is able to spin so fast like that and it does not fly away. So for that reason we are talking about an axis, a post that is running through the center of the earth. And uh, that is an axis. So we say it is the spinning of the earth on its own axis once in 24 hours or once in a day. A day has got 24 hours here on earth. And so I was trying to say that rotation is a, uh, something that is similar to what we are seeing on our screen here. That the Earth, which is like a ball, it is round as we found in the previous lesson, is uh, making uh, circulations, you know, circulations, without forward movement. Yes, and the pole we are talking about, the axis we are talking about is quite imaginary, it is not even existing. So uh, maybe we can be able to have one that is shown here, but it is imaginary. So. Uh, it should not have an effect in, in us. We will not draw an earth and we put a post in at its center. Now that is what we are talking about. That is the, what we are referring to as a post. The red uh, post is what we are, that is what we are referring to as an axis. But it is imaginary, it doesn't exist. So the earth makes uh, a rotation, a round movement, a form of a round movement, and that is what we refer to as uh, a rotation of the earth. Now, as the earth is making its rotations, there are effects of this. There are, there are effects, uh, it results into various effects, and one of the effects is, number one, is it causes 
day and the night. Each one of us is familiar with what we call the day. The day, especially here on the tropics, starts with the rising of the sun and ends with the setting of the sun. A day is therefore uh, full of light, you know, and uh, the night, a night starts with dusk and ends with dawn. So a night is darkness, and if we have light, that is day. And so that is an effect of the rotation of the earth. How does it happen? We ask ourselves. Then the answer is, the earth is round. Half of the earth is facing the sun. The part that is facing the sun receives light from the sun. And therefore it is day. And the part that is facing away from the sun, half of it that is facing away from the sun is dark. It doesn't receive any light at all. And therefore it is night. And that is an effect. Let us see on our screen how it works. Now what you are able to see is that some part is bright and some other part is dark. The bright part is the one that is facing the sun. And the dark part is the one that is facing away from the sun. So that is the day and the other part that is dark is the night. That is the day and that is bright. And the part that we are not able to see is facing away from the sun and it is the night. Now, the other effect is that rotation causes deflection of both wind and ocean currents. Now, we have to understand uh, some story about uh, winds. Wind Actually, wind is moving air, and air is what uh, makes up the atmosphere. The atmosphere is held to the Earth's surface through the force of gravity of the Earth. And as the Earth is moving, it moves together with the air. It is an envelope. Just like an, uh, as a, a letter that is written and it is uh, put in an envelope. So as the letter is moving to, from the sender to the receiver, uh, the, the envelope also is moving to, with it. The, the envelope is not so important. What is important is the letter that is written inside. And so the atmosphere behaves like an envelope. It is surrounding the earth. And as the earth is spinning, it spins with the, the air. It, it causes some disturbance in the air. And so as the air is moving from the south to the north, the air which is found on the earth's surface now, the air which is in the atmosphere is constantly moving. And as it is in motion, the air that is in the South Pole moves towards the equator and even to the North Pole. And the air that is in the North Pole is moving towards the South. This is because of the difference in temperature. The land that is on the equator receives more light and therefore uh, the air that is found there rises to the atom, up, upper layers of to the upper layers of the atmosphere, uh, causing a vacuum at the uh, part that is next to the Earth's surface. And so the air that is in the south and the air that is in the north is pulled towards the equator. And now, as the air from the south is moving towards the equator, it is forced to move to change its it is forced to change its direction to the left before it, uh, uh, before it crosses the equator. As it approaches the equator, the center of the earth, it is deflected to the left. And the air that is moving from the north southwards towards, towards the equator 
before it crosses the equator it changes its direction and it is deflected to the it is deflected to the right from the north the wind is deflected to the right and from the south the air is which is now wind is deflected to the to the left we are saying that um, wind from the south is deflected to the left as air as as ocean currents as wind from the north is deflected to the right that is what we have here on our screen then uh, even the same effect is felt on the water masses which are in motion the ocean currents all the ocean currents from the south as they approach the equator they get deflected to the left and any water that is coming from the north is uh, deflected to the right as it approaches the equator that is the second effect we have the effect of the third effect number three that is uh, it causes variation of the speed of air masses causes variation of the speed of air masses uh, as they approach the equator this effect is uh, caused by the speed of rotation of the earth that the earth rotates much more faster at the equator than at the poles and yeah than at the poles and at the mid latitudes so uh, this is because of the large circumference we had seen this uh, earlier alone that the earth rotates more fast at the equator than at the poles and so uh, even the air that is directly above these land masses behaves in the same way that the air at the equator is uh, moving faster because the land which it is covering is also vibrating faster you know it is moving faster so it causes um, a fast moving effect on the wind uh, and even the wind is covering a large uh, distance so it has to move much faster than the winds which are uh, at the poles or at the mid latitudes uh, that is it so both the air at the equator and at the poles they are all moving but uh, one is moving like uh, uh, like a tortoise and another one is moving like a, a cheetah you know the two are in motion but uh, the difference is there in the speed that is good and lastly we have the effect lastly we have the effect of the rising and the falling of ocean tides we are saying that the water in the ocean uh, is not uh, usually the same level at one point you'll find that the water is risen the water level is risen higher and at another time the water level is down so the water can be swelling at another level and another time the water subsides so we ask ourselves what causes the rising and falling of these ocean currents i mean ocean uh, what causes the rising and falling of ocean tides the cause is the rotation of the earth that at one time of the day the earth is uh, close to the sun the part that is facing the sun has got much more effect of the pull of gravity of the sun much more than the part that is facing away from the sun and so the sun tends to pull water towards itself but very quickly the earth pulls back the water and the water subsides the same the water level goes back to the original the water level goes back to the original level the moon also causes a uh, high tide in the sense that uh, the moon has got its force of gravity so sometimes the sun the earth and the moon are on a uh, a straight line and you find out that the sun and the moon are in opposite directions and each one of them is uh, exerting its uh, force of gravity 
on the earth. So you will find that we will experience a very large high tides, you see? And uh, that is an effect of the rotation of the earth and uh, the rising of the water. And so those are the effects. We have been able to look at the four effects. That is, uh, the rotation of the earth causes uh, the day and the night. It causes deflection of wind and the ocean currents from both from the south and from the north, from the south to the left and from the north to the right. And uh, it causes a difference in speed. Uh, of the air masses as they approach the equator they move rather faster and then we have the last one is the effect of the rising and the falling of the ocean uh, tides thank you we're very grateful that you found time to watch our content kindly press the subscribe button down there and leave a like if the content was helpful to you join us in the next lessons thank you